Good morning, GoProers. I apologize for my scruffy appearance, but I'm about to take a kayak with the fish finder on it for a spin on a trial run down to Winding River Park. Uh, it's early in the morning. I'm pretty much still in my pajamas in my garage getting ready to load the kayak up. Now I haven't shaved in a couple days. I know I look like a bum, but I got to do this. Here's the kayak in the garage. All ready to load up. And this is my box full of fish finder parts. You can see the battery having a plastic bag. Uh, there's the display unit right there. It's a Hummingbird Piranha Max 197C DI. The one on the right that you see there. And here's my transducer setup. I have a GoPro suction cup mount rigged to stick on the side of the boat. And I've tested it out in a <laughs> in a fish tank. Uh, the unit works, so now I'm going to take it to the park and give it a go in a lake that allegedly has no fish in it. So. Uh, Wish me luck. Here we go. Okay, we're here at Winding River Park. I got my kayak. And I still got to finish setting it up. I'm here with my lovely wife, Laura. Say hi, honey. Hello, how are you today? Isn't she adorable? Uh, I got the tripod set up over there. I'm going to set up some cameras so I can film this. Uh, just give me a little while to set up and uh, we can rock and roll with this fish finder. Okay, hello, it's me again. I'm ready to start installing this. I got two cameras on me so I can set this one down if I need to. This is what I'm going to use to mount it. It's what I was using for my GoPro over the shoulder shot. It's the uh, Scotty extender with the gear head on it. I've got it leashed with a, a tether. I might do a later review on these tethers. It's <laughs> I bought them at Walmart. I bought a bunch of them because they're great. So I'm going to stick it on here. like so and so it doesn't go overboard I'm gonna hook it onto the pad eye on the bow okay we got that in next we put in the display the hummingbird 197 CDI See, that just pops in like that. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Normally I just have one of the gear heads on the front and I've got a camera facing back at me. This time I've decided to uh, mount that on the front so I can reach it and read it. Okay, now we got to hook up the battery. Uh, I'm just going to temporarily stick it under the front of the bow for now. I got to find a permanent space for it. And then uh, we'll put the transducer on. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put it I'm going to put it on the bow. For, I'm just going to put it on a cup holder for now right next to the unit. Hopefully I'm not going to be stupid enough to tip this thing in this little puddle so I'm gonna put it there and I'll tie it down with a bungee or something perfect put a little bungee over that Jake gave me and I've connected it and I've connected it to the couple of pad eyes one under there and the other one right there. So this is what it looks like. 
so far. Okay. Next, I'm going to connect some of the wires. Okay, now we'll start setting up the transducer. I probably won't stick it on until I get in the boat. Say goodbye to my lovely wife. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> There's the, that world-famous bye-bye for now. Okay, we're on the water. We're not going to be able to see from the one behind me, but there's the hummingbird. Let's turn it on. No, let's not turn it. Let's not turn it on because I got to put the transducer in the water yet. So. All right, I didn't start the camera, but I, I've, I've got the, I've got the uh, hummingbird fired up. You can see I'm in about a foot of water, and it's reading. I'm going to show you my setup. You can see the the mount with the transducer right there, GoPro uh, suction cup mount. And now I'm in like borderline a foot, two feet of water. You can see it reading. I'm gonna have to change some settings to make this work. Now I'll sh I wanna show you that it's not gonna come off. See, I'm, I'm pulling on it and it it's on there. So we appear to be good to go. I'm gonna sign out for now and have a little fun. Bye-bye for now. It's a little tough to read because there's a glare on it. I guess I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Take the glare off. Water 70 degrees. It says two feet, but it's got to be deeper than that. Oh, how cool is this? So far, the deepest it's shown is seven feet. So this lake is not very deep. seen any fish under it yet. Okay, I've got it on sonar. I'm showing zero to eight feet because I haven't gotten any deeper than seven feet here. It shows the water temperature as 72 to 73 degrees. Why it jumps up to 96 once in a while. I don't know why it does that. Maybe because I'm hitting uh, some weeds. Gotta been in the sun. Uh, I really don't know what I'm seeing on here. Uh, I see the bottom. Right now it says it's six feet deep. And it's got a bunch of scruffed, uh, probably about three feet down. I'm assuming that's grass. So I'm not really sure what a fish looks like on here. I have the fish alarm set. What I did was I set the alarm for the bottom to five feet, which was probably stupid because it kept going off. I wasn't sure what the alarm was, so I shut off the bottom alarm and it stopped. So that must have been the bottom alarm. So I've shut the bottom alarm off. I have fish alarm on and battery alarm on. The only thing I don't like so far is it doesn't tell you what the alarm is, it just beeps. Now maybe each alarm is different, I don't know. But I'm not seeing any fish. Now I've got all the sensitivities set, so maybe I've set them to uh, too sensitive or not sensitive enough. once I learn how to use this thing, how to set it. And then there's YouTube <laughs> and uh, a 
couple of my friends have them, so I will, I can uh, ask them, you know, what they set them at. And I imagine it probably depends on what lake you're in or where you are, how you set the sensitivity and, and, all, and all the alarms and everything. The one alarm that's constant, I, th I think, is probably the battery alarm. I mean, you want to know when the battery's dying. And okay, right now we have it on, uh, this is on sonar, not down imaging. You can see the scruff in there. I'm assuming that's grass. And the orange scribbly and all that down there is the bottom. And I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish in there. And right now we're at six feet. Okay, I've pretty much accomplished what I set out to do. I just wanted to get this thing mounted, make sure the suction cup would stay. I mean, I've only been out here 20 minutes, but I couldn't pull it off, so I'm, I'm guessing as long as it's wet, it's not coming off unless I whack something with it. So, my one other comment is why it keeps hitting 96 degrees once in a while. I don't know why it does that. It's right now it's going 70, 71, and then occasionally hit 96. I'll show you that. Let's see, now I could have the temperature. Maybe it's scrolling. I don't think it's 96 out here. It's definitely in the water, so Maybe it's not aimed right, I don't know. I think I'm going to uh, head in. And uh, maybe I'll add some more comments while I'm packing it in. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Bye-bye for now.